Sagittarius, you need to know this right now for August the 22nd through August the 23rd, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for August the 22nd through August the 23rd, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for August the 22nd through August the 23rd, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for August the 22nd through August the 23rd, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. Sag, you need to repent and get your life together. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Sag, these are your cards, honey. So, Sag, you have the three of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys as a relationship that shouldn't be that is causing you heartbreak. So Sag, you're telling me that you're hurt. Now, you could be hurt because your feelings are hurt or you're hurt because there's a third party. Clarify the three of swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the three of swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the three of swords for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the high priestess. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets. Keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition. But you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now the high priestess keeps silent. So it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So Sag, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition. Or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess. For Sagittarius. Clarify the high priestess for Sagittarius. Clarify the high priestess for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the world. So you may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle. Closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Sag, you can tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance, a geographical distance. You can tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world for Sagittarius. Clarify the world for Sagittarius. Clarify the world for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So Sag, you can tell me that you guys had this immature, premature communication 
or you went looking and spying. Clarify the page of swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of swords for Sagittarius. It is clarified with death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. But death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. So Sag could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you can tell me that something is ending here. Something could be starting new after an ending or some type of transformation or change. Clarify death for Sagittarius. Clarify death for Sagittarius. Clarify death for Sagittarius. It is clarified with you, Sag, temperance. The universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. And when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. But Sag, this is you. Clarified temperance for Sagittarius. Clarified temperance. Clarified temperance for Sagittarius. What about Sag? What about Sag? Clarified temperance for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, but the Emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the Emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with. Clarify the emperor for Sagittarius. Clarify the emperor for Sagittarius. Clarify the emperor for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the two of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Sag, very well could be dealing with your soulmate here. But this can also be in an agreement. Now Sag, listen, you can tell me that your feelings are hurt concerning some type of an agreement. You know, it very well could be that someone is making this agreement look very good and very appealing, Sag. But I don't know if you do your homework, your due diligence here, Sag. And you're using your intuition that you just need to close out this cycle concerning some type of an agreement here, Sag. Like I said, it could be work or business. Sag, you could also tell me that you went looking and spying and you discovered that there's a third party and you're using your intuition that you need to close out this cycle. And... Sag, this person could very well be coming and trying to apologize and romance the stone. You realize this person is your soulmate, but your soulmate is also the one who caused you this hurt, Sag. And you have to figure out whether or not you're going to let them come back around again. Sag, you have the five of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is you feeling remorse and regret, hurt, crying on the inside over all the time that has spilled out, all the effort and energy that has spilled out, all the love that has spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things panned out in the relationship. So sad, you can tell me that you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed here. However, you could be feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played. Clarify the five of cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the five of cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the five of cups for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the queen of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. 
However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Sagittarius. It is clarified with strength. Could be dealing with a Leo. But the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself, and hold yourself back from something. So Sag, could be dealing with a Leo. But you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me that you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself, and holding yourself back. Or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Sagittarius. Clarify strength for Sagittarius. Clarify strength for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth. Demanding clarity. Speaking your truth. Spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now here's where truth comes out. It's swift. It's bitter. It's harsh. It's direct. It's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's true. So sad. Some type of confrontation happening here question and answer session someone setting the record straight someone getting to the bottom of something clarify the knight of swords for sagittarius clarify the knight of swords for sagittarius clarify the knight of swords for sagittarius it is clarified with the tower the tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So Sag, very well could be a shocking surprise. Shocking revelation. Something being revealed or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Sagittarius. Clarify the tower for Sagittarius. Clarify the tower for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Eight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Sag, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that you're working on something, planning something, perfecting something here. Now, Sag, like I said, this could all be work or business here and some type of an agreement. There's been some type of shocking revelation, a shocking shakeup, and there's a confrontation taking place here, Sag. Must have strength and courage to confront them because you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed. Sag, this could also be relationship here. After some type of shocking shakeup, shocking revelation, and a breakup, they may be wanting to come in and set the record straight with you, Sag. Wanting to work things out, but you're still hurt, mourning, and disappointed here. There's been some type of hurt. <clears throat> I don't know if they feel like this is a band-aid for this hurt. But because of this card, I have to figure out whether or not you caused this hurt, Sag. And you're using your intuition that you need to go back around again and apologize. Scoping out the place. <laughs> Seeing when you can start new after and ending because you realize this person is your soulmate. Are you feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played? And you're mustering strength and courage to come in and set the record straight because you want to work things out with this person after some type of shocking shakeup or breakup. Sad, you have the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is 
financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So Sag, this can be about your money, assets, resources, abundance. Very well could be that someone has commitment on the brain. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clarify the ten of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the ten of pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the ten of pentacles for Sagittarius. It is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So, Sag, <clears throat> you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or you're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment for Sagittarius. Clarify judgment. For Sagittarius, clarify judgment. For Sagittarius, it is clarified with justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but you may be calling for karmic justice. Saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. So Sag could be dealing with a Libra, but you can tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. You can tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. <clears throat> or you're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Sagittarius. Clarify justice for Sagittarius. Clarify justice for Sagittarius. It is clarified with a page of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there is a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. Now you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there is a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of cups for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the three of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag, this is you waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for what you set your intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of you looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So, Sag, you can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that your ships are here. You can tell me that you're looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand or even travel. Now, Sag, listen. You can tell me concerning your abundance. Someone is coming and trying to right a wrong here. I apologize. Your ships are here, but you're needing to make a judgment call. Like I said, you could be dealing with work or business here. I don't know if there was some type of upset concerning some type of an agreement, and they're trying to apologize, trying to appease, trying to set the record straight, trying to work things out. But the disappointment has already set in here, Sag. So you can tell me that you need to make a judgment call because they're coming in trying to right a wrong here. Even with this judgment call, Sag, with them apologizing and trying to right a wrong, you still could tell me that, no, I'm just going to turn my back on the situation and look to see what else is out there. Sag, you could also tell me that something wasn't fair, balanced, or just because you found love messages and heard the news of them sharing love and you guys' commitment here. Now, Sag, you could be waiting to make a judgment on whether or not you could forgive them. Or Sag, you could tell me that you're wanting to take it to the justice system for legal separation or divorce and turn your back on the situation and look to see what else is out there. Or you feel like it was just unfair and unbalanced. And this is the reason why you're wanting to turn your back on the situation and look to see what else is out there. 
Sad. You have the Queen of Pentacles again. Like I said, could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this spouse, this parent of your child, someone you work with or do business with, or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Ace of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So, Sag, new love, new start to love, or a blessing here. Sag, like I said, this can be work or business. They're coming in trying to make up for this, to right or wrong here, Sag. Coming in to try to change your mind with this blessing. Sag, you can tell me that this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this spouse, this parent of your child is wanting to start new with you. This is where the apology is coming in here. They're wanting to work things out with you after causing this, causing this, causing this. Sag, you could also tell me that this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this spouse, this parent of your child had new love. You found those love messages and you're hurt because there was a third party. Sag, you have the Nine of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So sad, you can tell me that you're getting your wish. Could be feeling smug here or overindulging, trying to numb out. Clarify the Nine of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Nine of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Nine of Cups for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long-lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So Sag, you're telling me that everything has come to a screeching halt? Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. So Sag could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Swords, coming forth with truthful communication or making a decision. Clarify the King of Swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the King of Swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the King of Swords for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Nine of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed, Replaying things over and over in your mind. Losing sleep at night. Worried about something. So sad. You're all up in your head. Stressed. Worried. Anxious. Can't eat. Can't sleep. Bothered by something here. Sag. I feel like you're overindulging trying to numb out. And that can be on, I don't know, Chick-fil-A, donuts, cookies, ice cream, mint chocolate chip. I don't know. I don't know what you're overindulging on. Just to get your mind off of the fact that you're needing to make a decision, okay? You guys are on hold and you need to make a decision on which way you want to go. Whether or not you going to forgive them and give them a second chance, Sag, or just move on, okay? Just turn your back on the situation and look to see what else is out there. Because they're coming trying to romance the stone from causing this pain here. And you're hurt by it, Sag. You're hurt. And you know, 
Sag, it seems like there's a lot at stake in you guys' relationship. I don't know if this is a um, communal property. Assets. It's a lot at stake here, Sag. And the reason why I say that is because it just would be cut and dry. Like, it would be cut and dry like I'm done. But you don't feel that way. Let me take a look at the Twin Flames exposed for you and your partner, Sag. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, my heart is torn into a million pieces. What have I done? My heart is torn into a million pieces. What have I done? I'm going to also take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Sag. And it says, I regret lying to you. I regret lying to you, Sag. You need to know this right now for August the 22nd through August the 23rd, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.